Hello everyone! We are currently in the EOS's system and something pinged us. Something called the Tempest, so let's go check that out. The climb probe. Is that a satellite? Is that what pinged us in this sector? It's pulsing an initiative call response code. Someone knows our tech inside and out. Let's get a scan. the hell happened? Anti-trackback measure? Drive system overloaded. Not quick enough, though. I got a serial that has triggered an alert. Pathfinder, we are to contact Director Addison as soon as possible. What is going on? Interesting. Okay. Well... Let's go deal with this. Director Addison, what's going on? Ryder, tell me about the satellite you found. Director, what are you talking about? My alert identified a ZK resource tracker. They're emergency tech, full of overrides so they can bypass protocol. They were designed by Dr. Zoe Jean Kennedy. She disappeared with the exiles. If her tech has shown up, that could give someone a backdoor to steal from your outposts. And these satellites? Why were these trackers allowed to bypass protocols? They're supposed to be hubs. To rapidly track and pull resources if lives are at stake somewhere. That's why they weren't deployed. Tan didn't like anyone bypassing his rubber stamp. If this satellite is new, how is it kept up with our security measures? That's a very good question. What and was Dr. Doctor? Kennedy's role in the initiative? She designed the orbital beacons forward stations and half the kit in the Tempest. She'd ram an upgrade through before the requisition was on Tan's desk. Dr. Kennedy disappeared along with the Exiles. That was a big loss. And why did you get the alert? Seriously. Pretty extreme to set up a personal alert. Why do that? A lot of Dr. Kennedy's projects were unofficial. But you backed them. Like these trackers. I don't want some asshole using my access codes to cut a backdoor into our resources, or Tan blaming me for it. But I also want to know what happened to her. She disappeared with the Exiles, but you aren't calling her one? She sympathized, but we'd never let an expert like that go. She was vital. But in the chaos, a lot of things, and people, went missing. Alright, what do we do? If we have to find the tech or the person, where do we begin? You got a sliver of data from the first tracker. With more scans, maybe Suvi can assemble a point of origin. Obviously, these trackers are being deployed where initiative tech is concentrated. That means outposts. Try another outpost system, or place more. Maybe you'll draw them out, whoever they are. And when we find them? They're stealing our resources. My concern is Dr. Kennedy, her tech, their lives. In that order. Okay. So we're headed to the null system. Hold on. What? That is one twitchy self-destruct. Wait. Just let me stick a predictive model in this fragment. There. A common vector. Maybe a point of origin. Good job. Let's go. Alright. There we go. Ooh. We have a place to go now. So. Uh, what button do I hit? That one. To Nalish system. Okay. Something. All right, this way. Ah, there it is. Probes launched. Getting a scan. Ooh. Pathfinder, the 
this is the exact nav point indicated by the ZK trackers. Right, Addison's request. Let's see if this helps us find our missing scientist. Damn it. The shuttle's just a relay. But I think we can get in their feeds. Hold on. Signal's through. Ready for coordinate transfer. And who the fuck? We've been found. Deadhead the comms. Here we go again. I'm the Pathfinder. A Pathfinder? One finally showed? Harlan, stop talking. Is that Dr. Kennedy? Are you okay? Director Addison is concerned about you and your tech. Keep them talking, Ryder. Tracing. All I want is to stop the stealing. I have outposts of people trying to start their lives. Outposts starting lives, huh? Let them see, Harlan. They just forwarded Dr. Kennedy's medical profile. Ryder! She's pregnant. That woman is pregnant. That woman knows full well the state she's in. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was the stupidest line in the world. That woman, that woman is pregnant. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure most people in their right mind would have said, holy shit, she's pregnant. Oh, I like how did this happen. Oh, I kind of like that. Oh. And then there's... Oh. Uh, I'm going with this one because I hope it leads to something funny. You are really pregnant. What happened? When a mommy and a daddy love each other very much, <laughs> yes. they don't let humanity die out. You're with Addison? Well, she fell in line with Tan. Said we couldn't add new mouths until we were stable. But this wasn't about waiting until we could afford a house. We were dying. So I left, with enough meds for Harlan and I to get off the blockers. How far along? Dr. Kennedy, how long? Eight months, give or take. We're not going back. You're not getting my tech? We'll be fine without you. Tell Addison. Fuck it, don't tell her anything. Kill it. <laughs> they flashed the core. Couldn't get a trace. Addison will want to hear about this. And I've got questions for her. So, let's talk to Addison again. This is an interesting line. But yeah, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chew Addison out if, yeah. Cause, come on. Life happens. Life finds a way, you know. Dr. Malcolm was right on Dr in Jurassic Park. Uh... Director Addison, I have a sighting on your missing Dr. Kennedy and her trackers. She's alive? And eight months pregnant. Fucking hell. Yeah, let's go this way. She didn't disappear. Dr. Kennedy left to try and have a child. You really had no clue? I knew she wanted us to fast track the schedule, but we had no world. We were going to lose people. I wasn't going to watch babies die, too. I all the stupid, irresponsible, selfish. She was always like this, even back on Earth. She talked me into this, and now, now we have to save her tail. Hmm. Wait, what did Dr. Kennedy talk you into? She's an old university friend. We were catching up, and she mentioned a project she was training for. The Andromeda Initiative? She'd still be here if I wasn't forced to tell her no a year ago. Uh, did you, yeah, cryo? What was the timetable for stopping the contraceptives everyone got before cryo? No way to tell. It was to be determined. You had to know that would frustrate people. It was the only answer we could give. The alternative was more mouths and more death. And what the heck did you do that caused her to get in troubles. Dr. Kennedy seems to have a group with her. Stealing aside, she has support. How long will that last? She's the smartest person I know, but she jumps without looking. Ryder, we have two speeches banked for the first child in Andromeda. Trust me, you want the one for the good outcome. We know how to find her. We find more of her ZK trackers. Hopefully you can draw them out by placing more outposts. If she hasn't changed the protocol. She's eight months. She may be distracted. This is a complete shit show. Find them, Pathfinder. 
The first human child in Andromeda can't just disappear. You know what? You don't have any right, like, putting the child on display. It doesn't really matter. It's a child. Come on. Okay. So, I guess we need to do some stuff to make more stuff. You need some more harsh ices. Do more things to get it uh, further progressed. So... So, what do we do now? Since this is now on hold... Oh, your enemy... Meet with... Um, Vold... Uh, Turian Ark... Sure! Let's go look for the Turian Ark. I mean, we're already exploring. Let's go do this. Sam, send Calo the nav point provided by our Krogan contact. Drac, we're landing on Eladin to rendezvous with Jorgal Strux. On my way. Where is this meeting place exactly? Called the Paradise. Middle of nowhere, as far as I can tell. Paradise is different for a Krogan. I would assume Paradise would be different for everyone. I will gather what information I can, Pathfinder. lives here besides the Krogan? Scavengers with nothing to lose. Criminals chucked out of Kadara. Gonna be interesting. I was gonna say it sounds like fun. Hmm. Alright, I got Joel and Drac. And evidently, it's really hot out here. Hmm, nothing to scan. Scanner man, sad. Ooh, some pods. Nope, can't scan the pods. Oh, hey, people are popping in. Temperature levels are climbing, Pathfinder. Whoa, don't fall down that. Fluorite? Sure. Uh, I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Come on. Oh, oh going upstairs. <laughs> I discovered paradise. Don't ask. I have no idea what I say half the time. Don't think twice, just you and me, another day in Parrot. Okay. Don't have to be so loud about it, Saul. Jorgal Strux. Are you Jorgal Strux? Maybe. You who I think you are? I'm the Pathfinder from the Nexus. You asked me to meet you here? Yeah, I did. Thanks for coming. Yeah, build bridges, I don't give a... 
I hate what this thing terms things. I want to build bridges. This would be more of the Nexus. Hey, this is what I'm saying to try to appeal to you. But you know what? We don't really care. Dude, you're Krogan. You're powerful. We need that. Losing the Krogan was a big deal to a lot of us in the initiative. Some of my best friends are Krogan. That's right. I didn't want to leave the Nexus, but I needed to support my people and my clan. So, there's problems at the colony. It's heading to a bad place. We can't be there anymore. Morda's become a tyrant. Did she kick you out? Haven't come to that yet, so we're laying low. I want to keep my eye on her. She's planning a strike against the Nexus. That much we know. Uh, suspicious, yeah. The audio logs you sent do sound like something bad is brewing. Morda is going to rip this colony apart. And then we're all going to die. Krogan dying? Really? Everyone needs food and water, even Krogan. Morda's rationing. My group thinks the Krogan should make peace with the Nexus. Yeah, I get that. You kind of need supplies, so yeah. We need the Krogan, and the Krogan need us. We all came to Andromeda as one. We should at least try to fix this. Well, there won't be a colony to make peace with if Morda ruins it. You don't believe me? Go to the Krogan colony yourself and see what she's planted. Talk to Ravenar Brink. He's one of us, on the inside. If the safety of the Nexus is really on the line, I'll go. Better hope she doesn't shoot me on sight. Yeah, that'd be a bad omen. Okay. Parlay with the Krogan. Getting all fancy termed. Alright, I'm going to go pick up all these little side quests and eventually I'll get to them, but... Scaver? What are you looking at? Alright, I think... That's mostly everything. So we should be able to go. Oh. Data Where are you going? Find a different one. All right. Thanks, Ryder. That should be enough. I'll analyze this and let you know what I find. All right. Thanks, Lexi. Let's hop in the Nomad and see where we go. Or, well, I guess we gotta land a... pod so that we can actually do stuff. There we go. I detect above normal temperatures. Get us a nomad down here. So, Elodin. Charming so far. What do we got? Besides the sand. The remnant monolith suggests this was indeed supposed to be a golden world. It also suggests the presence of a vault. Additionally, here is the large derelict remnant ship that we saw as we landed. Hopefully abandoned? Scans indicate it is not. The site is active with scavengers and remnant bots. Here, scavengers have taken over an abandoned camp between the two. In this direction, located in one of the planet's sinkholes, is New Tachanka, the Krogan colony. Sinkholes? Sounds fun. Not really. Elodin is tidily locked to its sister moon and that gas giant above. This side of the moon never cools. Getting trapped in a sinkhole without shelter would mean certain death, as one's blood would boil in 75 seconds. And on that cheery note, let's head for the climate-controlled paradise of the Nomad. <laughs> yep, that's my dream. New upgrades! We got defensive fortifications! We got advanced life support! Yay! Alright, so... Hmm. I'm gonna do some driving around. And if anything interesting catches my fancy, I'll bring it back. I've been reading Krogan history. I have a few. Ryder, are those scavengers dismantling the 
remnant tech? Is that a problem? It is if they get their hands on a remnant core. It could become unstable and attract the scourge. How do we stop it? Beats me. Pathfinder, I could modify your Omni tool to disable the cores and prevent them from reacting. Do it. Let's go fix this. Yeah, we're gonna take these guys out. Let's deal with this issue here. Evidently the Ribnet weren't happy about this. There we go. Deal with it, guys. I'm getting this core deactivated. Good. That should do it. Pathfinder, I detect scavenger interference at additional remnant sites. They never make it easy for me. Let's go to those other sites. Okay, so it looks like we have side quests to do, which actually seems more interesting than doing the main quest, so I think we're actually going to do that. I'll just hit the journal button and fix that. Oh, Lord Cam. Canister is volatile. Shooting it will trigger a reaction. How to heal up. There we go. The tracking signal was attached to that canister. Yeah. Why? Unknown. The signal is defunct. There may be more at other scavenger sites. Hmm. So we got a lot of little quests popping up. Well, it's better. I advise against prolonged sun exposure, Pathfinder. It's gonna be hard to. There will be scavengers ahead, if the sun didn't get them first. Alright, I'm assuming I need these to jump up to get the... Yep, okay. Yep. Okay.
should now be able to interface Pathfinder. There we go, and on to the Sudoku. Nice. Or not. Well, that was good. I hate doing those puzzles all the time. All right. Where to next? So we got this one. All right, you know what? I'm going to call this a part here. We'll just head back. Ryder, I've analyzed the scans you sent me. I found something odd. Each scavenger's neurons were firing at an abnormal rhythm. What does that mean? It's only a theory, but I think some people are more susceptible to complications that can happen during the cryo process. Their neural paths were altered in cryosleep. It's not curable, but I've developed a serum that should subdue the symptoms. I left it at the Paradise. When you pick it up, I'll tell you what to do. Interesting. Let's get this taken care of. I'd like to test the serum on a live subject, but we need a good candidate. Scan the scavengers at the Paradise again. I'll tell you when I see a potential. That's probably this guy all the way down here. Perfect chronomist boy stole the parcel. Almost cloaked out there. There. He's perfect. You'll need his permission to administer the serum. We won't force it on him. Are you right. sure this is safe? It's no more dangerous than your usual, son. Uh, hey there. Don't know what they told you. I don't have nothing. I just want to give you this medicine. It might make you feel better. Feel better? Haven't felt this good in years. I don't want your blasted medicine. Uh. Your mind regressed in cryo. This will bring you back. Bring me back to what? Scraping and bowing to the initiative? For the first time in my life, I'm free. And damn, it feels great. Just leave me alone. Leave all of us alone. We're happy just how we are. Sure. If you don't want to be cured, I won't make you. Good. Now get out of my face. All right, so. <sighs> well, that was a waste of time. If these exiles really don't want to change. There's nothing we can do. I'll see if I can organize trials on the Nexus. At least we can prevent this from happening again. All right. This scrap will be my ticket out of here. Anyway, it's worth it. So I'm going to call this apart, and I will edit this down and see what we got. But I will continue on with some of this I stuff. Above normal temperatures. I'll probably do a lot of the little quests around here on my own, and then I will come back in the next episode, and I will have the monolith done. So we'll do the vault together. And we will do the major storyline part together. So until then, a later.